What's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster here uh, from Western Texas with an update video here on this Sunday, March 20th, 2022. It's about 11.50 a.m. Uh, Going to be central time here. <laughs> Getting all mixed up here. Did a couple uh, uh, different time zone switches here recently. Looking at the latest map here from the USGS showing the last earthquake activity uh, from the 24-hour period. 2.5 actually this is the all magnitude map here showing some activity ramping up along the west coast still seeing quite a bit of swarming here around the central uh area of the san andreas fault seeing that movement right there kick up here right smack dab on the san andreas fault south of the bay area uh, just east of santa cruz and uh, north of salinas uh, seeing uh, a little bit of earthquake activity ramp up there today um and last night also some microquakes up north here on the, the San Andreas Fault once again around San Mateo. So activity kind of kicking up again along the west coast. Uh, latest quake down there in Southern California shows right around the Wrightwood area. 1.7 coming in at, uh, man, I hope that's not correct, 40 kilometers. If that is the case, I, that's the deepest earthquake I've ever seen there in the Southern California region. Uh, it is below the mountain range. Uh, the San Gabriel Mountains, but that is pretty deep, 40 kilometers. That's That's got to be wrong. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, update here, see if it's been reviewed by a seismologist. Although we have been getting some, uh, uh, yeah, it's still under automatic status review, so more than likely it could get adjusted, but i uh, going to have to keep an eye on that one. If that's 40 kilometers and there's something major uh, brewing underneath the West Coast, or along the west coast i should say uh, activity up here in the antelope valley valley area still showing uh, some movement over the last 24 hours uh, including uh quite a few microquakes in that region uh let's back out of here and head over to the area around texas where i'm at uh, i'm just north of this region we're northeast of the region of Pecos, Texas. I am not for sure if I'm going to get down here. Uh, it is a little bit further south than I had planned to go. Uh, i got to set up for severe weather tomorrow around the Austin area and areas uh, to the north for the uh, severe weather potential. But uh, I'll, I'll definitely keep that in mind if I head back to check out the Pecos, Texas area where we do see quite a bit of earthquake movement. Just kind of curious to see what's going on out there. Uh, north of Oklahoma City, seeing some activity. 1.7 as well and also up into Kansas uh, we're seeing a return of movement up into the Pacific Northwest as well with some movement outside of Mount Hood once again let's go ahead and check out the activity here around Mount Hood uh, looking at uh, at least a couple earthquakes here let's go ahead and check out the last week of movement see if we can tally this thing up looking at 30 well, roughly 30 let's get rid of that one down there about 26 earthquakes, okay, around the Mount Hood area. Most of this is a couple days old. Latest one uh, looks like it was from uh, yesterday, a 0.7, uh, but most of the activity from uh, uh, late last week around the Mount Hood area. Go ahead and check out Mount St. Helens up here to the north a little bit. Some activity, a little microquake up there as well. Looking at some movement outside of Seattle and uh, further to the east with some microquakes there in that region go ahead and check out the alaska area latest quake shows a 4.0 coming into the cook inlet area just south of there pretty deep or actually pretty shallow 6.5 i thought there was 65 kilometers i'm here on my uh, laptop in the mobile so kind of uh getting set up for tomorrow's storm chase so if i sound a little bit different that's the reason why uh, but yeah, 4.0, 6.5 kilometers activity here to the west along the Aleutian Trench all looks pretty quiet. Japan, areas southward, most of this movement here from yesterday. Uh, back it out here a little bit uh, along the Kerbedek Trench, Tonga region. We had that 6.3 come in last night here. Let's see if I can get this computer to work. Since then, we've seen a 5.0 and a couple fours as well. Latest of 4.5. This one pretty deep though. 513 kilometers there into the um, Tonga Trench region, Kermadec Trench area. So a lot of movement taking place here recently and some subsequent, actually we're looking at shallower earthquake activity first and then a lot of deeper movement here to the uh, west. So uh, definitely a hot spot 
of potential large-scale movement. Got to keep a close eye on that. Uh, 4.4 New Zealand. Uh, that one was earlier this morning. Uh, rest of the country, or at least the world, rest of the country, rest of the world here, some movement throughout the Himalayas. And it looks like a little aftershock around the uh, earthquake that struck Iran a few days ago. 4.7 strike in that area today. Uh, Atlantic, pretty quiet until you go up here to the north. Outside of, uh, what, what do they have it? Greenland Sea. 4.4 uh, magnitude earthquake at 10 kilometers striking earlier today. And uh, way down here at the bottom of the uh, South Atlantic Ocean, South Sandwich Trench seeing a 4.9. So some movement taking place at both ends of the Atlantic area. Uh, South America region as well, some activity, but nothing significant. There's the Middle America Trench activity here, getting the swarm of movement off the Costa Rica area. Uh, a couple fours kicking off there, and I've seen quite a few threes kick, off, uh, kick up in the region this morning. Looking at Hawaii, we've got 20 earthquakes, most of it here, southeast flank, got a 3.1 on the southeast region. Let's go ahead and check out Yellowstone. Just going to keep this update short, folks. Uh, kind of hard to do out here in the car. But, uh, hey, we're getting it done, right? Got to make ends meet. Got to figure out, uh, uh, got to keep an eye on these earthquakes. We got one, looks like way down here, a little earthquake activity. Look at this. I'm not for sure what that is. That's kind of a distant earthquake. But this one here looks like a localized earthquake at Yellowstone. Very small one. Uh, but a local one nonetheless, and it's earthquake activity. Uh, the tremor map from last night showed some movement into Northern California. Actually, did we get a chance to check that last night? I don't remember if we did, because uh, that, that's a pretty big jump, 235 epicenters. I think we were in bed before that even came out. That's what happened. So, uh, yeah, we were driving for a couple days, no sleep, so we went to bed about 7 o'clock in uh uh, forgot to check the trimmer, but look at that, 235 epicenters of trimmer in the Northern California area. That's a pretty big jump here at the southern end of the Cascadia. Uh, haven't really seen too much in the way of uh, earthquake movement into Northern California. Looking at the map here, doesn't show a whole lot. Outside of Redding, it looks like, up in the hills, a uh, little activity kicked up here. Uh, when's this from uh, earlier this morning at 2.4? at 11 kilometers but man that is uh some major uptick there along the southern end uh what else we got folks i think that's about it i'm just gonna do this uh, as a quick update uh just let you guys know i'm still safe out here in texas got a pretty strong south surge of uh wind and moisture coming into the texas region for tomorrow's setup it's going to look pretty uh, pretty bad out here for uh, severe weather. So if you are in the region, make sure you got your uh, severe weather plans. That's for sure. But we will be out chasing here tomorrow. Uh, just going to get it set up into position today. But uh, in the meantime, just kind of cruising the back roads of Texas, uh, enjoying these little beautiful communities out here. And uh, we are in, what's the name of this town? Spur. Spur. Texas, a beautiful little town with the stopped in at a little friendly store and uh, folks were super nice in there. Uh, everyone seems to know everyone. They're like, hi, Mike, how you doing? Hi, hi, Jim, how are you doing? It's like, okay, these little towns, they know everybody. That's for sure. But uh, for the most part, everyone seems pretty nice here in these little uh, communities well off the interstate. And uh, that's kind of what I'd like to do once in a while, just hit the uh, back roads and see what it has to offer. All right, folks, enjoy the rest of your weekend we will chat you guys tonight with the update video till then stay safe and uh, make sure you be prepared